The following contains spoilers, so proceed with caution. I do want to bring one thing up because we um, think Robin was mentioned. He needs a Robin, right? Scotty, this is what you said. He's like, he needs a Robin. Did we see Robin in this movie? Was Robin already in this movie? And he is he in his two-faced clown makeup at the beginning of the movie, the one who would not kill the Batman would not go or would not kill the, uh, the fellow on the subway. Do you think potentially we already saw this guy, this version of Batman's boy wonder? Well, Andrew, I'll start with you. From what I read, uh, that guy being Robin would be a cool way to do it. The only thing is from what I've read that Matt Reeves, I think and Pattinson have both said is because of how young this Bruce is, if they do Robin, they want him to be a child. And Two-Face Clown Guy would have been, he's a good candidate, but he looks like he's a bit too old. Um, so if you get somebody who's around the age of the mayor's kid, um, somebody in that ballpark who just has nothing left, then you're right, it's more tragic and like the stakes are higher of like, you know, it, I feel like that guy, Two-Face Clown Guy, can take care of himself if Bruce trains him hard enough. I feel like no matter how Bruce trains a child, that child is still a child. So the stakes are still more real. And you're still terrified every time he goes out onto a rooftop to help Batman fight crime. You're like, no, go home, kid. Just go go home and play FIFA. Don't like, what are you doing? There's a Riddler around. He's going to get you. So I, I, I want them to, the way they kept playing up the horror here, you can play up the horror more with a younger Robin. Because uh, kids in peril is always going to be scarier than a really badass teenager in peril. Yeah, I mean, whatever Robert Pattinson says doesn't matter. It all depends on the script. Scotty, do you think you got your wish and the, we saw the Robin? Or do you think he should be a little 13-year-old boy? Do you, like, Okay, but in all honesty, I, I understand what Pattinson's saying and I get it. But would 13 be – if you go too young, at what point do you get too young? Do you know what I mean? At what point, Scotty? Yeah, it's going to be tough. I think they uh, – I don't think you can go too young – because then you start to get into like son of Batman. I would like if they're going to do young to it be like a Damien type character. And I'm waiting, man. Damien in live action. He's going to be awesome when they do him. I don't and know. Damien's if you guys a messed up kid too. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's really good in the co- in the uh, cartoon stuff. He's one of my favorite uh, characters. And it's all the Raza Ghoul like manipulation stuff too. That's a big part of that. That was one of my favorite parts of the Dark Knight trilogy. And I also think it's kind of funny that I don't think they're going to touch any of that in this trilogy. I don't think they'll go like Lazarus Pit or any of that stuff. So, well, and no, funny I'm was okay they, they almost went the Venom route. Yeah. Because he's injecting himself with something green and he's getting a oh, yes. little bit yep. frisky afterwards, too. Um, and But I agree, Scott. I don't want them to go the league of shadows route and i got nothing against the league of shadows just because that whole last trilogy was so league of shadows heavy that i think we're good uh and again they don't translate well to the mystery noir that this is shaping up to be Uh, Mm -hmm. and i i feel that way about joker too where he's the kind of villain who's just like hey i'm blowing up this building come stop me uh it's It's not something Detective Batman has to solve. It's just something Bruiser Batman goes in and solves. Uh, So I don't know how they would do Joker in this world when this world is so mystery-centric. They would really have to go a different route with him. Well, yeah, I mean, there's several things that they could, you know, adapt from Joker-wise, especially if he's, you know... um like you know similar to uh jack nicholson batman if he has to you know go full chemist if 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 he's introducing a joker toxin of some kind Mm -hmm. like you know that that's another part of the detective and detective noir that could uh could come into place here and as for uh robin i mean um i kind of got like the same vibes from like the mayoral uh, 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 kid as uh, i did from joffrey baratheon in uh in batman begins i was just like this kid's in this movie and, you know, maybe he's there as like, you know, a uh, red herring to make you think that he might be Robin, but he's not actually going to be Robin. That's right. That's kind of like the vibe I kind of got from, got from it myself. 
Yeah, I was going to actually, my next thing, Rob, thanks for ruining it for everybody. I was going to bring up that kid as the potentially next Robin who fits in the age range. He fits in that age group. Mm-hmm. There we go. And I like your idea, Scotty, that you bring in the Robin because he needs that, but I don't know if they will. They all seem to be afraid to bring in Robin unless you've got the cojones of Joel Schumacher. Mm-hmm. Holy rusted metal, Batman. The metal, it's all rusty and filled with holes. I want a mm-hmm. car. Chicks dig the car. <laughs> this yeah. is why Superman works alone. I could quote those movies all day. Let's go. Maybe, uh, let's maybe they yeah. bring a circus to Gotham to, to bring up morale. Hey, hey, hey there you go. <laughs> the underwater <laughs> circus for morale. I love it. I, whatever. Yeah.